Hey guys, it's Adam, your internet chess coach. In today's video, we're going to do a chess books tier list. Let's get right on it. To start with, I have to say that all the books uh, I'm going to share are um, something noteworthy to myself, something that I've had personal experience reading or hearing about. If there isn't a book on the list, please feel free to comment below and maybe I'll make a, another video on viewers books tier list. So let's get started. Our first book we're going to take a look at is uh, 5334 uh, Problems, Combinations, and Games. And this book is by Laszlo Pogar. And uh, the book deals with checkmates in one, checkmates in two, checkmates in three. Absolutely fantastic, I think, if you are newer to the game and looking to improve your calculation skills. So this one's definitely going to go in the for newer, newer players, but I think even advanced players and master level players can take advantage of this book, trying to solve checkmate puzzles as fast as possible. All right, let's see what we got for our next book. Uh, our next book is 45 Positional Techniques. Yeah, this one is um, absolutely fantastic for understanding various techniques involved in the game. The book first shares a specific technique uh, for example, one of them I remember is restricting a knight on the side of the board using the h-pawn and a-pawn. And there's a name associated with each uh, idea. And then lots of examples are given. So I think uh, 45 positional techniques. Um, I wouldn't say it's a classic. Uh, not sure if it's one of my favorites, but it's extremely useful for understanding the game. So I'm going to pop this one into noteworthy all right let's take a look at the next one uh, amateur to i am so i really like this book it's written by jonathan hawkins and a uh, grand master at the time he wrote this he was international master and he started like myself late playing the game and he was able to reach an extremely high level and I learned a lot from improving. A lot of it has to deal with some technique in the end game. Uh, looking at rook and bishop versus king, lots of bishop ideas um, from what I remember. And I did find it very useful. Um, I would say this one's also noteworthy. In terms of rating, I think you probably have to be about maybe 1600 and above to get an accurate sense, maybe even 1800. And higher to get the most out of it all right the next book on the list is Bobby Fish Fisher teaches chess I remember reading this a long long time ago it was one of the first books I got in the game and I don't sure if I went through the whole book or not um, but it was quite useful and it did explain um, why certain moves were made or the, over the others. The way it's formatted is there's some text and some games, if I remember, and some um, questions. And then as you try to answer the question, uh, Bobby Fisher will share with you the answer. So it is Bobby Fisher, so I'm going to put this one in uh, Classics. Okay, next one on the list. is uh, Jacob Agard's calculation. So I have to say about Jacob Agard's books is I think that um, they are absolutely phenomenal for players that want to really improve their chess. He has several books, calculation, strategic play, positional play. And I'm actually going to put this one in legendary because I think so many top players are reading it and so many players are finding value in 
their over the board play and improving specifically from this book. I've improved tremendously from his from all of his books. I recommend Jacob Agard um, for improving if you're let's say above 1900 and even then the books are extremely tough so uh, I remember being at a certain level like 2000 and maybe 2200 online and the books were too tough at that point I had to put them down but then I came back to them when I was around 2300 and and even then like put the books down again and come back to them once I get to a higher rating so that's our first legendary book which is interesting let's take a look at the next one all right, the next one, a bit of a plug, I must say. Next one's a bit of a plug. Um, the next one is uh, Chess Education Workbooks. And this workbook was um, personally written by myself, and I've written nine books. So I think I'm going to put this one in uh, Noteworthy. I think they are extremely useful books, uh, levels one to level nine. If you're looking to improve your chess, then uh, this book will go through how to improve your tactics step by step by step. So we'll put that in noteworthy. All right, next on our list is Think Like a Super GM by Michael Adams. Yeah, where should I put this book? Um, this one's quite interesting because when I read it, I was so I was so excited to get into the into the uh, mind of Michael Adams and understand how his thought process works, especially the um, first like 30 seconds of how he sees a position, what he disqualifies, what he qualifies. And what I like about the book is it does share a lot of his thoughts and ideas, but I found the book somewhat problematic as well, because while I was trying to really figure out how he um, gets to a certain thought process a lot of it was kind of already given where he would say yeah at move 46 or like sorry second 46 I already had the top move in my mind rook c8 or like some rook, rook move and by second 46 I'm still trying to analyze the position and I would have had I would have liked to have gotten a video version of it where he shares his thought process in uh, a time by time manner rather than um, just getting some text after 46 seconds. So uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this book. Probably in Noteworthy. I was hoping this one would be one of my favorites, but I don't think it it makes the cut. Okay, for the next book, um, this next book's definitely uh, absolutely fantastic. So this one is, uh, I'll make it a bit larger so you can see it to start with. Uh, chess exams matches against the legends you versus Bobby Fischer in this book you are pretending that you are facing off against Bobby Fischer and you're given four options it's a chess exam so you get to take a test and you have to analyze which of the four options you should choose from and they're really really tough and exciting um, so this one I have to say is one of my favorite books and I found a lot of value from it and I'll put that in favorites. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, next one is, uh, I'll make it bigger again for each time. Chess Structures by uh, Mauricio Ru uh, Flores Rios. This one I've always had on my shelf at some point, understanding how every single pawn structure in chess um, relates to a specific piece placement and plans in terms of what palm breaks you should use to activate your pieces. He goes through almost every significant opening in chess, um, several chapters on the French defense, several chapters on King's Indian, um, the Karo Khan pawn structures, this, which is similar to potentially Slav pawn structures. Um, very, very high level book. And also, I think uh, this one, it for me, was extremely useful for understanding the game and how every opening can be broken down in terms of the pawn structures and what you should be looking out for in terms of plans. So I'm going to put this one in Legendary. Okay. Let's see what we got next. Next. 
Dvoretsky's Endgame Manual. Yeah, Dvoretsky's Endgame Manual recommended definitely for high rated players. I, I found it extremely difficult but extremely enlightening in terms of uh, King and Pawn Endgames, how to play the opposition correctly, and just general ideas that I wouldn't have thought about before in the Endgame. So this book extremely useful and I think it's a classic I'll put it in classic sizing is a bit off for some of these but that's okay all right next on the list um, let's take a look Endgame Strategy by uh, Mikhail Sheroshevsky uh, and I keep noticing this book popping up again and again and people recommending it and and I, I use it as a coach with students improving their end game skills um, I think I'd have to take a look at a, a lot uh, a lot of the details more again but from what I remember it's um, really really useful for um, for understanding the end game and I, I think the ideas are quite complicated but absor like absorbable and so I'm actually gonna put this one surprisingly for newer players maybe not someone that's like completely new to the game but somewhere between like 1200 uh, rated and above and I think it'll give them a lot of ideas and exposure to higher level concepts so end game strategy for newer players. Okay, next one. Is Mastering Chess Strategy by Johan Halston. Johan Halston, I think this book was um, really influential to me for understanding a specific idea um, related to strategy in chess and getting, getting ton and ton examples again on it. So I would put that um, somewhere in between here and here. Let's pop this book in right here. Mastering Chess Strategy. Very noteworthy and extremely useful for improving. All right, next is uh, Gary Kasper of My Great Predecessors. Part one and part two, part three. Of course, all of them. So, I found this book extremely complicated and difficult, but very useful. And, and what I understood from the book, and I think a learning point that's extremely valuable, is that Casper uh, gives tons and tons of variations, sidelines, main variations. Um, and at the time of going through the book, I felt like, what's the point of going through all these sidelines? I don't really see the point of it. Let's just uh, look at the main line of each variation because that's what was played in the game. However, when I'm taking it from the perspective of you're playing the game and you're analyzing what move to make, Kasparov goes into extreme detail and reflects on exactly why one variation is better or worse than another in great, great detail. And it really exemplified to me why he was a world champion, just the level of detail that he goes into for why he makes his moves is inspiring for being able to play at a higher level. So I'm gonna put this one in, in Legendary and I'm gonna put it um, probably right before Agard's book. Maybe if I go through it again, I'll put it even at the top there, but for now I'll put it second Legendary. Okay, next on our list, is uh, Zurich International, let's make it larger. David Bronstein, Zurich International Chess Tournament 1953. So this book uh, has to go into classics. It has been uh, read by, I think, so many masters of the game of all different levels. And this tournament that was held in Zurich had some famous players. Um, I don't remember all of them, but I remember Karas was one of the players in there and the book is formatted to share every single game that was played in the tournament 
1953 and uh, there are notes given not on every single move but on a series of moves notes are given and analysis is shared and Bronstein goes into uh, quite detailed ideas related to specific positions and shares insights why certain moves were played why certain moves were not played and various ideas so I think this book will stand the test of time in chess I think a lot of masters have heard talk about it and the book is enough to, let's say to get a, a complete picture of a lot of different strategies that masters use at the, at the highest level so let's put that one in classics all right next on our list is uh, my system by Aaron Nimsevich. Yeah, my system has had different reviews. It's definitely been um, a tremendous historical work in chess, and I think my system has influenced so many players to such a great extent. Um, it discusses how Aaron Nimsevich plays his. Um, Hypermodern systems and specifically uh, also uh, this idea of prophylaxis, which until he came around, I don't not sure if the the, the word prophylaxis actually existed in chess. And the idea of prophylaxis is preventing your opponent's plans from happening even before they happen, like even before they're close to happening um, or somewhat close. It's preventing before they can surface on the board and uh, that will be classic for sure number one he also goes into fixing pawn structures as well I remember once you create these double pawns on the C file in um, Nimzo Indian defenses how to fix the pawns and take advantage of the weaknesses all right next book I uh, remember I was reading on the plane on the way to Europe and it was recommended to me on a Lee Chess um, blog and I found it extremely useful and it's make it bigger so you can see it it's called uh, Chess Lessons by Vladimir Popov or Popov's Chess Lessons and Popov was a teacher of uh, two very strong female masters I believe one of them was uh, Tatiana, if I remember. Tanya and Tatiana, I forget exactly. But two very strong female masters, and he discusses in each chapter different ideas related to strategy, different ideas related to calculation, um, and it's very systematic. There's puzzles and exercises. So this book was extremely useful and very difficult. I would say 2,000 rated players and above will get the most out of it. And we'll go into my favorites. Uh, next on our list is Pump Up Your Rating by Axel Smith. This book um, is extremely useful for a lot of players for improving at the game. And what Axel does is he creates what's called a list of mistakes. So if you want to play and you want to organize your games in a way where you are identifying what your weaknesses are, then this book is absolutely phenomenal for you. Um, I'm going to put this one at a higher one in Noteworthy. Extremely, extremely useful for improving your chess ability. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, the next one, strategic chess exercises. Find the right plan to outplay your opponent by Emmanuel Bricard. This book has tons and tons of strategic puzzles uh, and the puzzles go into great detail why one move is better than the other, the different strategies related to each exercise uh, and generally how to plan and play and outplay your opponent in chess. 
uh, extremely useful. I like to give it to students that are rated about uh, 1400 to 1700 rated. And if you're even stronger than that, I think it's still very useful and very difficult as well. Um, and requires a lot of precision. So this one, not one of my favorites. I definitely don't think it goes into legendary, not classic either. I think this one is gonna go in uh, noteworthy as well. So very, very useful. Okay, we got a few more. Uh, the next book is the Chess Cafe Puzzle Book by Karsten Muller. And in this book, uh, Karsten goes through a lot of strategic ideas, tactical ideas, and examples and games in great detail. And the ideas are quite unique as well. So I remember going through book number three or four, I forget how many there are, um, but found it extremely insightful how we could maneuver a bishop in a certain way back backwards and um, re-maneuver it to um, the correct diagonal as well as when knights or bishops are better and I found this book to be um, very insightful and I think one of my favorite books in chess the series I would say so I'll put that one in my favorites Okay, next book is The King in Jeopardy. This one is by Lev Albert and Sam Palatnik. And it discusses how to attack when you have same side castling, opposite side castling, um, or their king is in the center or in jeopardy. And it's an extremely useful book to help players and guide players and understand how to attack in the game and I frequently use it as a coach with my students so I think this for newer players I'm going to put this um, before Sharsky doesn't mean that uh, this one's better than Sharsky's book but I think that it makes sense for newer players this is a great book to, to go through and once you get to this book then I would recommend the end game book by Sharsky all right, there's one more book on our list here. And this is Sam Shanklin's book called Small Steps to Giant Improvement. And this was a phenomenal book because he discusses how us uh, a pawns affect the entire game. A pawn can't go backwards in chess and every single pawn move in chess has enormous long-term effects on the board so I think this book will probably be um, at the top of noteworthy and I think it's an extremely useful book that if you get your hands on will improve your rating um, where otherwise it might take you years to figure out some of the ideas on your own or with a coach as well and it's outlined really really nicely he has a second book as well uh, which I think is more difficult and it's how to deal with a lot with pawns rushing down the board defensive play and the ideas are very difficult what I like about that book as well is it goes through um, the ideas from the reversed side as well so how one side and take advantage of a pawn move and how one side should have avoided the pawn move in the first place or when to push when not to push so that concludes our chess books uh tier list for today i'll probably do another one in the future but um this is my uh books tier list books that i've personally gone through and found either extremely useful or uh, for newer players noteworthy classics favorites and legendary Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for more. Bye for now.